We're going to carry on looking at temperature and negative numbers. The first video we did, we looked at exactly this, but we used quite small numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and because of that, it was easy for us just to count up or count down by adding on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now we're going to be using slightly bigger numbers, and so we need to have a more efficient way to do it than counting one at a time. Let's look at an example. If it is 10 degrees centigrade and the temperature drops by 30 degrees, what temperature will we end up at? Well, we know that we're starting here at 10 degrees and we need to come down and the amount we need to come down by is 30. Now we could go and slowly count down 30 individual little steps, but that's actually going to take us quite a long time. So let's see if we can be more efficient about it. We know we need to take 30 steps down. Well, the first thing we can do is immediately see if we drop from the 10 down to 0, we've dropped 10 steps. But we needed to drop 30, so we need to drop another 20. Well, if we start at 0 and drop another 20, you should be able to see quite easily we're going to end up at negative 20 degrees C. So to drop by 30, I drop by 10 and another 20. 10 to get me back to 0 and then the 20 further. I want you to try one for yourselves now. If it is negative 15 degrees centigrade and the temperature goes up by 20 degrees, what will the temperature be? Open your homework books to try this. Pause the video now and quickly do it. OK, let's go over this. If we start at negative 15 and we've got to go up by 20, we can take a first bounce up to 0 and that's 15 steps. But we wanted to do 20 steps, so we obviously have to do 5 more and that will end us at 5 degrees centigrade. OK, let's do another example. If I know it's 16 degrees centigrade and the temperature drops by 23 degrees, I want to know what temperature it is. Now here you'll see my number line that I have, there's just not enough space to put every single number on, right? So 16 isn't actually on that number line. And this is where I have to have a strong picture of how numbers fit in um, in order to do this. So where will 16 be? Well, hopefully you'll be able to quite easily see. It'll be just somewhere here a little bit above 15. So I'm going to put it in there just a little bit above 15. And now I know that I want to drop in other words, I need to come down by 23. So again, I'm going to use the convenient thing of dropping down to 0 first. And you can tell me easily that's a step of 16 you've gone. But you don't only want to go 16, you need to go 23. So you've done 16 of the steps already. How many more are there to do? Well, hopefully you can easily work out that from 16 to 23, you've got seven more steps that you need to do. So you've got to do another seven steps. So from zero, seven steps down is going to end you up over there, which is at negative seven degrees centigrade. OK, I want you to try one for yourself now. This one says it's negative 12 degrees centigrade and the temperature goes up by 29 degrees. Where will you end up? Again, you've got a thermometer in your homework book. I want you to use that thermometer to help you. Pause the video and try it now. OK, let's go over it together. We start at negative 12 and we should be able to identify quite easily that somewhere over there. And we need to go up by 29. So we're going to do our first jump to get us to 0. That is 12. Now we need to know how many more steps are there to go because we need to go up by 29. We've done 12 of them. So how many more are there left to do? Well, they're going to be 17 more. So we're going to have to go up 17 
and that should be able to see quite easily gets us to 17 degrees centigrade.